Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 92 rated end of era Kaka. So if you didn't go and complete the SPC and get this card, you will have to pay anywhere between 100,000 to 120,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now looking at his card now, he's got dark greens in the pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and he has the strength um, dark green stat in the physical category. So all round looks like a really good attacker. Now let's get into the review. So now moving into the pros and cons, the first pro I could find on this card was his long shots. Now Kaka has absolutely insane long shots and you will see quite a lot of examples of his long shots in this video. Um, the best thing to do with this guy is get the ball to the edge of the box and literally just take the long shot. Um, 9 out of 10 times it will fly into the top corner. Um, he has really good shot power, really good curve and a really good long shot. So you know you put all those three things together and you have a very very good long shot taker. So as you can see there we get a really good example of a long shot. Do a nice spin, do the drag back, get into some space and then smash it top corner past the goalkeeper. So now moving on into the next pro, what is Kaka's dribbling? Now Kaka has a very unique and weird dribbling style. He keeps it so close to his feet. As you can see this example there, I'm just doing a few skill moves, doing a few drag backs, and he just keeps the ball so close to his feet. It's basically impossible for defenders to dispossess him. And he also has very good strength as well. So if you're doing dribbling and shielding the ball at the same time, he is basically impossible to dispossess. And then moving on to the final pro of Kaka, and that is his control. And when I say control, I just mean the way he dictates the speed of the game. Um, you know, you give the ball to him, he can either speed it up, he can slow it down, he can create chances, he can basically do anything when he is on the ball. And then moving into the only con that I could find with this card, and that was his stamina. He does have 55 stamina, so what I would recommend to do with this card is just to start him off as a sub, then bring him on around the 45th minute as a super sub, and then this guy will start to perform for you. If you bring him on towards the start of the game, I find that he does get tired really easily, and around half time he's just completely dead, and he's basically unusable in the second half. So guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So now moving on into the overview for End of Era Kaka, for a value of coins I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, you know you're getting a 92 rated card for around 100,000 coins, what in my opinion is very good, so you can either use him in future SBCs or you could even use him in your team. Now he is pretty hard to link up so what I'd recommend to do is use him as a super sub or you could even try him out in your Brazilian team. Enjoyment wise I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, this card was pretty enjoyable to use just because of the long shots, the dribbling and the pace. Competitiveness wise I'm only going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. And and the main reason is just because of that stamina, it does let him down a lot. Scaling wise, I'm only going to give him a 6 out of 10, just because he does only have 4 star skill moves, not the 5 star, and his agility is only 81, so he's not really the best for scaling, but he is not the worst. So I'm going to give him an overall rating of an 8 out of 10, I think that's a pretty solid and fair rating for 92 rated Kaka. So if you did enjoy this video guys, I'm going to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.